I'm David Nivoot from Cedarburg Wines. Welcome um, to one of my special places in the West Coast, Pater Noster. So um, this is just an absolutely beautiful site. Um, we love Pater Noster, we love the West Coast. We love their food, their oysters, their seafood. And it's summertime, so what better way to start it with some beautiful Sauvignon Blanc. So your summer box, I call it the kick-ass summer box. It's really phenomenal wines in this, um, in this box this year. So the first one is the Ghost Corner Sauvignon Blanc 2021. So 2021 was a very aromatic vintage and very clean cut styles. So Ghost Corner obviously from Cape Agalas, not from Cedarburg. So very close proximity to the ocean. So very, um, a style with great maritime influence. So on nose you'll get that beautiful more lemongrass, a little bit green white asparagus slightly dustiness but the charm of this wine is absolutely the palate so although it's very aromatic it got this beautiful textured layers beautiful fattiness glycerol it's just one of those spectacular wines and one of the leading south african sauvignon blancs then longa v sauvignon blanc um, 2018 and um, this is the last time that you'll get a, um, a longa v sauvignon this year very close proximity to the ocean in Chile, Lida Valley, on black volcanic soils. So that's what you will get on nose as well, is that mineral, flinty, nearly gunpowder um, flavor profile and a lot of white canned asparagus. So very cool climate area. So this is the closest that you'll basically get to a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. And palette wise, this is a bomb. You'll absolutely love this. Then. One of my personal favorites in the Cedarburg range, five generation Shannon. So this is the new 2020 vintage, um, so just released. <coughs> and this is from a small vineyard up in Sunport, so um, Shannon on sandstone. And then very small production. So I just produced 15 barrels of this. Um, natural ferment in barrels, kept in oak for 11 months. And on nose you get that beautiful more overripe orange peel, nutty, roasted nuts. And the palette, this is just pure silk. It's very soft, velvety, got this nice glycerol feel to it. Then something really fantastic for summer, Cedarburg Rosé. One of those very aromatic ones. Um, so on nose you'll find that beautiful more um, rose petal, strawberry, candy floss really intense flavor profile and the palette is just amazing this is one of those bottles where you just on a saturday for lunchtime you finish the second one as well moving to the reds ghost corner pinot noir 2019 um, relatively new on the market um, so remember to chill your pinot noirs a little bit as well put it in a fridge drink it at slightly lower temperature specifically in in summer um, very modern style of Pinot Noir. So this was just in about 20% new oak, 20% second, third, fourth and fifth full. On nose you'll find that really much more red fruit spectrum. It's, and then a little bit on palate, a little bit more that earthy mushroomy part, but a little bit more fruit driven style. And then one of the gems, Cedarburg Shiraz 2018. This is a wine that done exceptionally well this year um, in South Africa and international. So it's again in the, at the Shira de Monte in the top 10 wines um, in the world. It's um, Shiraz's. It was also one of the top 12 at the Shiraz Challenge again this year. And this is the wine that Cedarburg that we quite known for. And I must say 18, typical 18 vintage for reds. Very aromatic, but very multi-dimensional. So you'll find a lot of more that sweet spice, dark chocolate, more roasted coffee, white peppery style. And it's just so polished on palate. 15 months in oak. And I always describe this wine is everything that you expect from a Shiraz in one glass. Guys, it's a beautiful wines that you'll receive. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, thanks for your support this year and enjoy a lot of Cedarburg wine over the festive season. Cheers from Pater Noster.